Hello again, this is Luis M. A. I'm going to have one final video from Bali. Um, my flight is tomorrow. I've had a wonderful time here. Uh, really, coming to Estonia is highly recommended. Um, I, again, I, I said a few of the reasons why I like it. Um, but, you know, everybody has their own perspective what they want to do and and um, where they want to go Estonia is beautiful um, so I, I want to leave with a few final comments um, so I wanted to let you know that the bus service within the city is free for for residents I'm I'm not clear if it's a uh, for Estonian residents or for Italian residents, but at the very least for Italian residents, it's free. And for guests, for for travelers such as, such as myself, you can um, buy a card, cost two euro, and then buy either one day, three day, um, one hour time. Um, so if you're gonna be moving around the city, going to Old Town, uh, or whatever you're gonna go, and you wanna do a few things in a few days, great way to get by. The bus system is very punctual. Uh, they have in many places, many popular places, they have boards, tell you the times, um, it does have a website. Uh, you have to learn which routes you need to take, but, it is a great way to get by, very inexpensive. I, I agree that bus service should be free uh, for, for residents everywhere in the world. Um, hold on, I'm walking past a polar bear. Right? Look at, I don't know if you can see it, but that dog is so huge. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, this is a, a great way to get by um, here. Um, in, in that same regard, they have a, a, an app similar to Uber. And by the way, here you walk, you, you get into a pedestrian walkway and cars stop. Even if you're almost there and um, they, they tend to stop. You know, sometimes somebody, you know, may be distracted and they may go over. It happens, but they're very good at it. At that stopping for pedestrians, bikes, kids, so it's very safe. Um, so I, I was saying that there's an app here uh, similar to Uber, which is cheaper than Uber, uh, called Bolt. And Bolt, um, in, in a way, it has some similarities to Uber, but I found I found it much better. My wife loves my wife loves it. Um, because they have both food so you can order food and, uh, and, and I'll put a vi little video of a Bolt delivery guy in a scooter with a box in his back amazing they have in bikes scooters and I'm not sure what else but more than that you can actually rent a Bolt car per hour per minute and and then you pay for a mile. Uh, so you pay the time and you also pay like 24 cents a mile. And I know eight cents a minute, it's, it's very cheap. Um, especially if you're gonna just do one trip, you wanna go so somewhere, you don't wanna wait for, for a driver. You get your, you, you see them all over the city, parts, uh, random places you, when you app, it tells you where the nearest one is and you go you know it tells you gives you social i haven't done it yet my wife is itching to do it but we haven't needed it in reality and more than that there are both scooters all over the city i'm sure there's places there they're not allowed to have it uh, but uh, here in las name the the, the city is littered uh, with them uh, in this area by the way where i'm, I'm walking through I haven't seen any, uh, but 
in another part of Las Lame, you see you see a few in 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 in, in one in one um, block. Um, so you see a lot of people with, with scooters, with both scooters, you know, driving around. Um, that, so it, it's very convenient. But well, I'm not sure I'm going the right way. Uh, but as I mentioned, I don't mind getting lost. I got comfortable shoes, my Converse All Stars. Well, no, not the All Stars, but I have Converse right now. Very comfortable. And yeah, I think I'm, I can find my way to where I'm going right now. Um, so yeah, I wanted to leave you with the, with, with the information about moving around the city. Um, pretty convenient. Uh, it's you don't have to wait long usually for um, a ball driver. You have to wait longer for Uber, and it's more expensive. Um, here you don't need to leave. Yeah, it's not common to leave tips, um, but now in some restaurants they, they're kind of forcing you to leave a tip um, in both you can actually leave a tip after you finish your drive and um, but anyway really convenient bus service really convenient I'm hoping you can hear there's a very loud music I, I just hear the bass mostly uh, there's a concert uh, Ramstad I believe it's some German band, really, really popular. Uh, right there, the amphitheater is built in a, in a little hill like this. Well, not, that one is a much larger hill. So you have the amphitheater, like many amphitheaters, uh, with um, that looks like an oyster. And then everybody on the hill can listen perfectly to whatever is on the amphitheater without having to strain themselves. Um, but because Tallinn is such a flat place, such a there's no there's no mountains here and this place is far from here it's about a 20 minute drive um i don't know a few kilometers at least but because it's, it's flat you can hear you can feel you can feel the, the the boom from the from the speakers and the music um and apparently i was told that 65,000 people are in that concert right now from all over europe um, I don't know, I, I'll um, recommend to look them up, find out more about them. With that, I, I, I'll leave you, I, again, Tallinn is a very developed city. Uh, you have bowling, nice skin, ice skating rings, uh, indoor pools, uh, so it's, you have everything here. So. Beautiful city. Um, and, and with that, I leave you and hope you visit. Uh, you can see it's 11 o'clock at night and the sun is still down there somewhere. And that concert is going strong. So, there's, there's a lot of things going on here. By the way, this, this past week, there was a first time there was a rally, a World Rally um, Championship. Um, here in Estonia, it was by the uh, by Tar Tar Tartu, I believe the, the city is. If I know it's like the second largest city in Estonia, which is about two or three hours away. Um, I thought I had gone near there, but no, I know I, I saw that I, I went by Tarnu, Parnu uh, the other time that I, I came here. Besides this time that I went to Ermistu, which is next to Parnu. Um, but yeah, yeah, come here, take a drive, and yeah, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy Estonia. I'll probably uh, do a farewell video at the airport, and tomorrow I have a six hour layover in Helsinki, which I'm gonna take the opportunity to hop off the airport, take the train to the city, spend a couple hours, and then come back. Um, I mean, it's gonna be a short video, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping that I can show you some some off the beaten path, path places there. With that, I bid you farewell, bid you adieu, and good night.
Я хорошо? So I was taken to play Russian snooker, which is different um, than billiards. And um, I'm pulled out as I would play. And as you can see, it's just all white balls. I mean, they do have numbers, but it doesn't matter which number you put in. But the, the main difference is, is that this ball barely fits in here. But this one actually is, is bigger. The ones in the corners, very very little movement um so you really have to put it through the middle and my cousin invited me to do and now let's try to see who, who's best i'm rush is which i've never played before <laughs> Uh, we always do the first uh, play for just, you know, to uh, get warm up, yeah? Warm up, yeah. And then we play for money? <laughs> <coughs> Some guys, they play for money here, yeah. We don't play for money. We play for uh, good... Uh, for all good, good, all good, good, good. Yes. Let me take a shot. Okay. I see a lot of hungover kids from the concert this morning. It's 4 o'clock in the morning here at the airport, 4.30. And, um, yeah, I see a lot of people coming from that concert from yesterday. He was definitely something.